Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, it's been probably over a month since I have made a video. I had a ton of work stuff come up and all the projects that I was grinding away on in the background just went, uh, brakes got put on and I haven't touched hardly anything. So, that stinks. Uh, stinks for YouTube. I've, it's good for me, I've been really, really busy, but um, yeah. And I've been videotaping a lot of the stuff I've been working on, so hopefully I'll be able to share some of that soon. The one thing I am able to share uh, that I've done in the last month is something I made for a client, but I'm going to post these on my Thingiverse page for free for anybody who wants them. And it is a posable mannequin hand. You can uh, bend the fingers. Uh, the way it's set up, it's strong enough that it can actually hold a prop. So if you need it to hold like a gun or a lightsaber or a sword or who knows what, it can do that, and I also made it so the thumb manipulates in such a way that it is easier to um, put a glove onto the hand, which if you've ever tried to put gloves on mannequin hands, you know it's a humongous nightmare. And it's part of the reason that I made these. The mannequin had to wear gloves and it had to hold a prop. So um, in the past, what I've done is just sort of fabricate you know, a mannequin hand or cut the fingers off a hand and add wires and make these goofy contraptions. They work okay. But um, a few months ago, I had a scan of myself done, and I got a copy of it, and I was like, you know what, I got a scan of myself, I can just take my hand and uh, cut it and make a mannequin hand out of it, which is basically what I did. So I took my hand in a ZBrush, took my body scan in a ZBrush, took the hand off, I simplified the shapes a lot so it doesn't have like veins and, and tendons and stuff, and then uh, cut it all into the segments, routed out the holes where everything was going to go so um, the wires could go through. This is held together with some wire that you can get from a hardware store. This is, let me see here, uh, measure it. It is 1.6 millimeters in diameter. I would tell you the gauge, but I cannot remember. If I, if I remember, I will put it in the description. 1.6 millimeter diameter wire. Um, you could maybe go thinner, but you can't really go thicker than this. If you print this on a good setting, the wire will feed in really nicely and it's snug but it still will feed in there um but yeah so it's held together the wire there's two in each finger to keep it from flexing in bizarre ways so the fingers like really they close up you know properly so they don't bend to the side and do a lot of strange things they you know they bend in the proper directions and uh, i try to make sure that the gaps are pretty minimal on the backs of the finger so if you have a glove on it and you roll the finger into a fist or he's holding a prop that it won't um, it won't leave big gaps on the glove or indents that are unsightly, which is really good. Um, and on the insides of all the fingers here, I added letters so you can see that uh, help you line up what fingers go where. I think that helps make it a little bit easier. Now you may be able to tell looking up close, this is a terrible print. This is done. Uh, extremely low resolution on my Creality CR10 S5, which has now a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. So this was done at, I want to say, 0.4 millimeter layer height. It took maybe two hours to print the whole hand. Um, when I did the good versions of these that went to the client, I did them on the Prusa, and it took about 11 hours per hand. So big difference there, and the quality is a big difference too. I mean, you can see this is pretty rough looking. And I just stuck it together with hot glue. And the uh, the real ones, I basically super glued all the fingers really well. And they're really nice. The prints are really good. Um, but, so, because this is going to go on a mannequin, I made it so that it accepts the adapter that is on almost all mannequin hands. There's Some are a little different, but almost, I would say, 95% of the mannequins I've ever worked with have had an adapter that will fit this, which is... It's basically a disc with three screws through it. Some of them are fully threaded, like a screw, where you have to thread the whole thing on. And some of them have a quarter turn adapter where you put it on, you twist it about a quarter turn, and it's locked on. But both of those types usually have the disc with the three screws. And you can see there's actually support material in the opening here, which needs to be pulled out. But that will uh, attach. And this will go right on a, almost every standard mannequin arm really easily. So, uh, yeah. So hopefully that's uh, can I almost said hopefully that's handy to you guys. I I say handy a lot when I'm holding a hand. It's um, 
it sounds ridiculous. No pun intended, right? Okay, anyway, <laughs> uh, I will post these on Thingiverse, and basically it'll be two files. Um, it'll just be a hand. It'll just be a right hand, so you'll have to flip the files to make the left. It'll be a right hand, and then all the fingers will be a separate file, and they'll be oriented in such a way that you will not need support if you um, use like a bed adhesion, like a brim or something on, on the print. Uh, it should print fine with no supports for the fingers. I recommend... I recommend using the support on the hand just to fill this this little void here, um, but that's the only place where it should need supports, and uh, it should work pretty well. And once I uh, am able to talk about where the other hands went, I'll share some photos because it's pretty cool when the display that it went on. So uh, should be interesting maybe for some of you, but uh, yeah. Anyway, if you guys want a printed hand. Here's what it looks like. Uh, for size reference, I usually wear a size large glove. So, uh, like if you're buying, I don't know, like regular rubber gloves or something, I, size large is what I, I typically wear. This is made for my hands, so the, the dimensions are about the same. Um, you could scale this, obviously, in 3Ds, but the, the openings and so forth may get weird. Eventually, I will be making a larger version and then a, like a smaller, like a female hand. Same concept. Once I do them, I'll put them on the Thingiverse page as well. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this is useful to some of you. If it is, let me know. Uh, and yeah, the files will be posted and the link will be below. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. I gotta get back to work here. Um, I've got stuff to do for Celebration. So if any of you, if any of you will be at Star Wars Celebration in Chicago in april uh come find me say hello i would love to meet you and um hopefully i'll get a video out before then hopefully fingers crossed i think i will uh, but if not uh, we'll see you kids soon thanks for stopping by later